So you're stuck in the mud, the sand, you're just stuck in general with your 7.3 Power Stroke. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to engage the 4x4 on it. This truck I have locking hubs, so it's a little bit tricky, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I do personally like the locking hubs and the manual 4x4 better than the automatic one because those tend to break a little bit easier and a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to do that today and let's dive right into it. Hardly ever do use 4x4, but I do recommend that you get it because on those times that you do need it, it does come in handy and it's a big time player and it's definitely worth the money to get 4x4 versus not 4x4. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to engage the 4x4 on a 7.3 Power Stroke. Some of you guys might have a different 4x4 as well. I have the manual locking hubs on mine. Some of you guys might have the automatic. So I personally recommend getting the locking hubs if you're looking into buying a 7.3 just because they do last a little bit longer than the automatic ones because there's no sensors or anything like that. What kind of gears you have, you have four high, you have four low, uh, what you wanna kind of ride on. I'm also gonna be driving around with the four, uh, four wheel drive on. Now guys, when you do have four wheel drive on, it's very, very hard to turn the steering wheel. And I'm gonna be showing you guys that in this video for y'all. Stay tuned here and yeah, let's get into it. First thing I'm gonna do is fire up the truck. So the kind of only bad thing guys with having manually locking hubs is you have to actually get out of the vehicle and lock the hubs before you actually put it into four wheel drive. So that's what I'm gonna do for you guys right now. So first things first, you gotta lock the hubs here, bang, just like that. As you basically just turn it till it clicks, it literally sounds like that. And then when you unlock them, it really sounds like it's not clicking. So click, and then you come over to the other tire. There's two of them. There's none on the back tire because those are already engaged. And then once you do that, bang, then you guys should be ready to roll. Now the thing is guys, when you do lock these hubs, you don't wanna keep them locked. If you keep them locked, I have accidentally kept them locked for a very, very long time and it's not good for them. So you don't wanna keep them locked, you wanna make sure you unlock them right after you do the four by four. If you accidentally do keep them locked, just try not to go over a thousand miles with them locked or else you will ruin them. Firing up the truck here, it was a little bit of a slow start, but it is like 100 degrees here in SA, so gotta make sure you guys are keeping up with your coolant levels, keeping up with your maintenance as well on your 7.3, oil changes, stuff like that. So now that we have the hubs locked, guys, we wanna make sure that we are putting it into four-wheel drive. This problem, guys, one time, I was brand new to the truck, I, it was like my first year having it, I never put it into four-wheel drive. The first time I went to go put it into four-wheel drive, I didn't know that you had to have the truck in park or in neutral. So I went and I was in drive, and it was like grinding the gears and shit, and so, yeah, that's the first thing, guys. It's not like a newer vehicle where you can just pop it in a four wheel real quick. You gotta have this thing in park, you gotta have it in neutral, and you gotta put it in a four wheel drive right away. Okay, so you have this right here. As you guys can see, you have two high, which is what we're in right now. We're in four high, you have neutral, you have neutral, and then you have four low as well. I'm gonna show you guys the four high right now. That's four high. There's also the neutral of here, and then you have the four low. So I'm gonna show you guys what four high is. Right there, it just says four by four. If I were to put it into four, Low. I think you have to have that bad boy in neutral to put it in four low. Yeah, so you have to have, I just figured, I just figured this out right now. If you wanna put it in four low, guys, you need to have it in neutral. Uh, you can't have it in park if you're gonna put it in four low, which I don't wanna put it in four low right now. I just wanna put it into four by four. So, so we have it in right now. Four by four basically allows you guys to shift out of you know the first gear. If you have it in four low, you're just gonna rev it up to 2,000 RPM or 3,000 RPM and never switch gears. So you can only go a certain speed. So now that we're in four low, I'm gonna put this bad boy into reverse and I'm gonna be showing you guys here. I actually do roll a lot more coal as well when I'm in four wheel drive. So showing you guys that we are in four, currently in four by four. Yep. As you guys can see there, I can't turn anymore because it's, I gotta make a four point turn. That's as far as I can turn guys. I can't go anymore because the four wheel drive is all messed up. So I can only turn about right there and then it starts messing up and I gotta do a four point turn right here. So do not recommend keeping it in four wheel drive. This is only for emergency situations here. Four wheel drive high is quite nice because you can actually go up to the speeds that you want to. So in Colorado, I used, I went ahead and used this gear the most because I had to go above 40 miles an hour in four wheel drive because it was icy, it was snowy, and we were going up a hill and I needed to keep up with everybody. So I had to go at least 40 miles an hour. That's why I kept it in four wheel drive high. Now, if you're gonna keep it in four wheel drive low, guys, that's gonna be if you're mudding or if you're in the sand, one of those two. You can keep, I, I mainly just recommend, or you're going up a massive hill if you've got it in four wheel drive low. I mainly recommend a four by four high guys so that way you can keep up the speed and you can spin the tires a little bit faster. So 
so whenever I do like, you know, get on her and try to race somebody in this 7.3, because you know, guys, I do have a tune on it, so it's a little bit faster now, so I can kind of keep up with these modern vehicles. Whenever I do do that, guys, in two wheel drive, I literally burn out every time, every time, just massive burnout, and I can't ever keep up with them. So maybe doing it in four wheel drive might be the move, guys, I'm not too sure. I do have it in the 14 mode on the tuner ship, so I'm actually gonna take it out on the main road and show you guys. I'm gonna try to see if I can. Uh, this is a little bit dangerous, but you gotta risk it for the biscuit sometimes. Oh man, this is not good. If you try to burn it in four wheel drive, you're gonna be turning twice the weight as well. So you're gonna be burning a lot more fuel and it's gonna be a lot more taxing on your engine if you wanna go ahead and try to put it in four wheel drive to get out of somewhere or even, I mean, sometimes people even put that shit in four wheel drive to race somebody. Right now I'm currently driving around with this guy in four wheel drive and going about 40 miles an hour in the four high mode. Now, once again, guys, like I said, I do recommend keeping it in this mode because, or in this drive mode, if you're trying to get up a hill or up icy slope or even in the sandy area, if you're trying to spin your tires really fast. Now at the stoplight, guys, I'm gonna put it in neutral and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in four wheel drive low. And I'm gonna show you guys how that works. With that mode, guys, you cannot get above 20 to 30 miles an hour, I believe. So we're gonna come to a complete stop here. I'm gonna put my hazards on, put it in neutral, guys. I'm actually gonna drop it up in a four low. So it's currently in low range. Oh God. We are currently four wheel drive low and somebody's about to pass me right now because I'm trying to film this video for y'all. But as you guys can see right there, what it's doing, it's not coming down off the gas guys. So it's really going really slow. I can't get above, it won't shift at all. So it won't shift. It's gonna keep it at 2,500 RPM and it won't shift. So you can only get into first gear or second gear in low range. I only, I only recommend this gear, guys, if you're going up a really big hill or you got some really heavy, heavy terrain to truck through. So yeah, guys, this is four low. I'm actually gonna come over here into the dirt. The turning radius on this is gonna be complete and utter dog shit. So we need to go ahead and probably take it out of this mode. Put it in neutral, or you can put in this deal, you can put it in park. We're gonna go all the way back down to the four four by four uh, right there. Now, so there's a four by four guys, and there's two by two. So that was two by two, bang, that's four by four, two by two, four by four, two by two, four by four. So that's once again like that. And then also your light will come on right here when you do have the four by four on. That's how you engage the four by four. That's a very in-depth video on how to do it. And we basically went driving around as well for you guys. So I'm gonna unlock the hubs, show you guys how to unlock the hubs and everything. And then we're gonna dive, uh, basically conclude out the video. So stay tuned. To go ahead and unlock the hubs. Got Make sure you do this, guys. Unlock. And this guy over here is going to be an unlock as well. Thanks. Just like that. Now, that's pretty much how you engage the four-wheel drive. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Quick, simple, easy one for you guys once again. That'll conclude this Power Stroke Central video for you guys. Thank you, 7Tree Gang, for watching another one. And once again, guys, I did buy these 7Tree badges that are badass. They're coming in tomorrow. So, super pumped about that. Ready to get that video up for you guys. Just wanted to make a quick one for you guys right now to cover the two day. I'm trying to post every two days. It's when I see the most, the best results from you guys when you guys watch my videos, if I post every two days. Yeah, so that 7-3 badge video is gonna be great. And I do have a straight pipe in the works as well. That one might take a little bit longer, guys, because I'm trying to contemplate. It's gonna be about 1,500 bucks if I go ahead and, and with the straight pipe included, like if I buy the MBRP exhaust, the five inch, I'm gonna do a five inch, and then I put it on the truck, and I have somebody install it, it's gonna be about 1500 bucks, guys. So that's a big chunk of change. I don't really know if I wanna do that or just go ahead and get a whole new upgraded injectors. Not really too sure, that's kind of where I'm at right now, guys. I just wanted to buy those 7.3 badges for you guys so I could do a quick little install video for y'all. Haven't done an install video in a while. That'll be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. If you wanna pick up these hats, once again, uh, Southern Bent down below. So it'll say Southern Bent hats where you guys can go pick up the hats down below if you like them. I'm wearing these hats every single video. So anyways, that'll be it for this one. Make sure you subscribe down below, watch the next video or the other videos that I have on the channel. Hold on, I'm trying to drive here. It'll be up here or down there. And uh, yeah, peace out, fellas. Thank you guys.